There is no stopping learning. You talked about being a lifelong learner. To keep pace, you have to expose yourself to new ideas. Upskilling is a bit of a uh, intimidating term for some. So I think of myself as a lifelong learner. Simply learn, fit my learning style, one. And then two, the actual program itself gave me the skills I was looking for. It wasn't surface level. I was actively every week coding in R, coding in Python. Education isn't a, doesn't have an end date. Hey, John, welcome to this platform today. Um, you know, John, I know that you're a very senior person at Walmart. You are the vice president of global finance and innovation. And, you know, I, I run the product organization here, so I know what a large responsibility it is to be the person responsible for innovation and finance on top of that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to learning a lot from you today and understanding your journey. Uh, I understand that you've been on the Simplon platform. I'd love to hear more about the hows and whys and what's of that. Uh, but with that said, love to hear a little bit about you and your role at Walmart. I know I, I've given a nice title, but love to hear what's behind the title. What do you do? Sure. So I'm responsible for global technology. So all of the systems, all of the technical processes and infrastructure related to uh, our finance function. And finance within Walmart is changing. So we are not traditional finance. We are actually end-to-end -end total organizational and operational experience. So when you think of any decision that's made within a corporation, generally financials are part of that key decision metric. And that's what we're responsible for, providing reliable uh, information that ultimately leads to better decisioning. And, and obviously we have the regulatory uh, management and decision science components of that, as well as a very large data program that we're responsible for. Got it. And John, you know, I've always wondered, frankly, data wasn't there 10 years back and the data is like the big rage and AI and everything is taking over, right? Uh, for someone like you and your organization for that matter, right? Just being on top of the latest trends, technologies, um, that's quite a challenge, at least from where I sit, right? You know, give us a little bit of an insight into some of the challenges that you run into on a daily basis, maybe quarterly basis or yearly basis in just keeping on top of technology and being aware of what's going on. Uh, what are some of the challenges you have right now? And you know, what are some of the things you've done and what your org has done to solve these kind of problems? Well, one of our largest goals at Walmart and global tech is really to develop our talent. So when you think of the challenges that any large corporation might face where you have disparate data elements that you're trying to pull together to gain insights, that work is not easy. You are trying to rationalize, cleanse, and then mature that data to a point where the lineage is clearly understood, that you can trace that lineage all the way back to the source of record, and that you can expose that data for useful insights to make better business decisions. And uh, one of the biggest challenges that we have is we're the number one retailer in the world, and we have lots of data. So our goal is really to expose that data in meaningful ways so that we can help people live better through better pricing and also to, with better mix. We can provide better solutions for our customers. And as you are using this data to personalize in some sense, the outcome for your customers, right? Um, you know, the algorithms and the, and the technology is changing behind you all the time, right? Um, you know, what are some of the things that you and your team have done to keep up with some of these trends and technologies behind you? Well, uh, I think it's all about leading from the front. So myself, when, when we look at what's needed, predictive outcomes are one of the components to a successful deployment these days. So understanding what it takes to go from more of a legacy historical reporting perspective to something that can gain you can gain insights from before the activity even happens, that's really where we're headed as, as really an industry. So to keep pace, you have to expose yourself to new ideas. Um, you really have to push yourself to learn and that's what this journey has been all about for me. It's a personal learning journey to not only keep pace with where the market's going, but actually keep pace with my associates. You have to have the information in order to lead well. And that's part of my personal journey. Keeping up with your associates, which is a very humble thing to say, but very true thing to say as well. <laughs> um, that's right. Which, you know, which leads to the question, you know, upscaling, rescaling, big deal. Uh, you did come to Simply Learn. You took one of our programs on data science. And 
and you completed it and amazing, which is a great achievement considering how rigorous and intense it is. Um, so I got a very simple question. Um, when, you, when you were thinking about taking a program and a course and you, you were thinking, well, look, I need to learn something here. What was it that you were trying to achieve? And once you, you know, walk me through, a, through it, right? Why did you pick Simple Learn? Because I know there are so many other great programs out there that can give you something or the other, right? Love to hear the why and then, you know, why Simply Learn? Sure. Uh, when I was looking at what the next step for me would be in, in knowledge uh, acquisition, upskilling is a bit of a uh, intimidating term for some. So I think of myself as a lifelong learner. Uh, I'm always looking for opportunities to learn from others. And that can be in an informal uh, communication where you're just learning about a new technology or a thought process. Uh, peers across markets have always been something that I've leaned heavily on based on, on my experience. The reason why I chose data science is really that is where our industry's expectations are heading. And like I had said, Walmart is all about developing talent. And I wanted to showcase not only that that is one of our core beliefs, but supporting our associates through those journeys is another piece. So the reason why I chose data science at a practical level is that we were making a lot of decisions around how we would implement various programs. I have uh, no fewer than five major programs going on right now, all of which have a data science component to try to help our business make better decisions. And I found that if I could gain that skill, if I could learn Python and R, if I could go through a rigorous program such as Simply Learn, that I would have the foundational information I needed to make better decisions as a leader. The why Simply Learn question, it's actually quite simple. Uh, one is I had the ability to go through a structured program, which I appreciate to have instructor-led courses where I could actively ask questions. I could gain a better understanding through those questions, live questions, and then turn around and in my assignments each week, I could gain further understanding through practice. So I'm an experiential learner, but I am also an interactive learner. And knowing your learning style is extremely important to being successful in these programs. So simply learn fit my learning style, one. And then two, the actual program itself gave me the skills I was looking for. It wasn't surface level. I was actively every week coding in R, coding in Python, troubleshooting why my correlations would match my expectation, um, digging through those results to try to make it better on my own. Even though the coursework was over, I was so entrenched in this masked data or fake data that I was still trying to figure out how to make it better. Uh, but I found myself applying those weekly learnings to my daily work, uh, which, was, which was an exciting outcome as I was going through the course. The connection with Purdue was also extremely important to me. I wanted to make sure that when this was done, that it was an industry acknowledged uh, program and that there was some weight behind exactly what the certification or the postgraduate degree was all about. And having Purdue's name behind that structure really helped me make that decision. And just maybe summarize what I heard from you. I think your learning style fit the bootcamp style of how we deliver it, which is instructor-led and practice-oriented. Um, and then you get a very credible certificate again. That's, that's the takeaway I, I walk away with. Third curiosity. Were there any areas of the program that you felt really stood out as something that you said, wow, that is amazing. I really enjoyed this part. Any topics or features that you thought were sort of very exciting and something that you took away? One of the components in the, uh, in the learning platform that I found very interesting and, and actually leveraged quite a bit uh, was the fact that I didn't have to have the software downloaded on my machine. I could actually use the inter interactive platforms that were there available for me uh, to go in and, and do my coding, to save it, um, to come back to it later. It was there for a period of time. Um, and it, it really allowed me to execute my assignments from anywhere. And that freedom uh, allowed me to go on a few family trips with my, uh, 
my family. Um, I would work from the hotel <laughs> um, for a few hours on a Saturday or Sunday just to stay current with the coursework. Uh, but it did provide that freedom to where I didn't have to worry about how many computers I was carrying with me, et cetera. Wonderful. It looks like the virtual labs were very helpful in your journey as a learner. Yeah. Um, and you know, yeah, that's we right. Going, yeah, and as you were going through this program, John, um, you know, there was a, there, it probably was really rigorous, but you did complete it. Once you completed it, now that you're done, of course, great relief, I'm sure. But how do you think the, the learnings out of the course are going to be applied in your day-to-day -day work? How do you connect your learnings to what you're doing? You know, you talked about the problems you're trying to solve. How does that connect together? Well, two things. One, I, it, education isn't a, uh, doesn't have an end date. In, in what Simply Learn in the program provided for me was the opportunity to have a base level understanding of data science and a few, in a few developmental languages that most frequently are used for that activity, right? For, to execute data science. Um, I apply it daily in my conversations with the data scientists that work on my teams. I apply it daily with measuring the goals of our top programs and understanding how the work we do can be done different or better, leveraging advanced methods. I use it most frequently um, when I am thinking through new challenges, things that aren't in flight, and I think through how could I apply my learnings to this without going through a traditional development background, uh, without going all the way back to the source and trying to get some key information or a key attribute from that source to determine the specific transaction. Can I? Can I ascertain that transaction based on uh, methods, based on mobility of or mobility of the um, of the transaction? There's there's other methods to use, and it opens the door to those. Wonderful, John. Thank you so much for sharing your experiences and how and why you joined us on this journey. Um, I'm really proud to have you as one of our graduates out of the Purdue program, and I'm glad you found it valuable as well. I'm, I'm taking a few takeaways out of this conversation as well. One is there is no stopping learning. You talked about being a lifelong learner. Um, and I think that's a big takeaway for anybody who's watching this video. Don't stop learning or you become obsolete. And that's a key takeaway from your experience. The second thing that you mentioned was being able to practice those skills hands on, being able to apply them in your job at some level is going to be really critical in any program that really gets you life skills. And the last part is being really structured about it and having, you know, virtual labs, being able to actually practice these you know, skills as you go through them is really critical. John, I want to thank you very, very much for your time with us today. And I hope you come back for the next program. There is another advanced AI program, which I think at some level might be the next step in that journey. So hopefully we'll see you uh, back here sometime. All right. Thank you very much. And I appreciate the time.